Okay, we're looking at 1961 MGA, and we're going to go over some of the leaks that we're noticing. Uh, we have one leak here at the steering rack on the front cover. You can see it on the corner here, starting to drip. I'm just going to remove the cover, uh, change the gasket, and reseal it. We also have a leak starting at the uh, water pump housing. You can see it coming out of the weep hole. And we have some leaks um, starting around the oil pan. Uh, what we're going to need to do is wash this down and uh, locate all the leaks. We may have a small rear main seal leaking. You can see some of the oil starting to puddle up uh, between the transmission and the engine block. So once we wash it down, we're able to locate the source of the leaks. We also have a drip coming from the oil filter housing. So once we get this all cleaned up, we'll be able to give a better diagnosis of the cause. Okay, here we're looking at the rear axle. You can see that the fill plug is starting to leak. And we also have some seepage coming from the drain plug. Uh, we're going to remove both of those, drain the fluid, and reseal it. We also have fluid starting to leak out of the axle gaskets. Also, we can pull this drum off and get a better look. Here you can see inside here, you can see all the oil leaking out of the shaft. So what we're going to do is replace the seal inside the hub which will take care of this leak here. And we're going to change the gaskets um, on the axles themselves. Somebody was in here before and used silicone to seal it. So we'll clean that all up and replace it. Uh, at the same time, we're going to have to replace the brake shoes. Those are all contaminated with grease. Um, probably giving you some type of soft pedal. But you can see how shiny they are from all the fluid contamination. Okay, we'll look at the other side. We haven't pulled a tire off of the drum yet, but you can see the same uh, same grease leaking out from the axle. So we're gonna have the same issue when we disassemble this side uh, with contamination of the brake shoes and changing both seals. As far as the battery, um, we have a lot of acid leaking. The pad is soaked. Uh, what we're gonna need to do is remove this cross brace, move it further back, put a larger capacity battery in it. We also have some corrosion on the battery on the top. So what we're going to do is insulate the battery uh, tray a little better, clean it up, and neutralize the acid, uh, prime it and paint it real quick to protect it. And uh, what we're planning on doing for the headlights uh, is running an additional circuit here from the battery all the way down the original location of the harness um, up to the front of the car and install the relay with the halogen light conversion kit uh, to give you better lighting at night. So we'll get some prices together for that and we'll uh, send that along. Right here is a left front inner tie rod. You'll be able to hear the knock-in noise, hopefully. So all we need to do is remove this outer tie rod and shaft, remove the boot, and replace the inner tie rod. And uh, that'll take care of that problem. We'll probably do that at the same time that we replace the uh, leak on the cap. We also have some additional fluid leaking from the transmission. Uh, so we'll see about resealing that if it does get removed to repair reverse gear. Got a little bit coming from the uh, speedometer output housing. You can see right here a little drop. 
It's probably just an O-ring. We'll change it on the seal. Let me take it out. Um, what we're having is no engagement of reverse. The detent is working, but we're actually not able to put it in reverse at all. Um, so we're going to pull the top cover off once we get the tunnel out and inspect it, see if it's something we can see before we have to remove it.